In this video we look at geese and why they give us a good insight into what leadership is about and my three tips that I learned over the years in leading people and becoming a better leader. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Hello everyone, welcome to Crosswinds Pilot. For those of you who are new here, my name is Kaidir Gleeford and on this channel we talk about structure, creativity and purpose for your business. Now, first of all, full disclosure, the tips that you see here that I'll outline are not just my own. They are taken from a book called Gung Ho. I've linked that in the description below. So click on the link, buy the book, give some credit to the author. I think he deserves it. It's a great book. It helped me actually becoming a better leader. I remember a time back when I had a little office with three direct reports and they had to manage their teams as well. Now I was always passionate about leadership and how to engage with staff and frankly how to get best out of everyone. And this book fell into my hands, I read it and again I suggest you do that as well, it's a really good book. But then as a result of the book what I did is I put a beaver, a squirrel and a geese up in my office on the whiteboard. And very unsurprisingly, at some stage, each of my direct reports came in and looked at those three animals and looked at me a little bit strangely. Um, but I'm sure it was the strangest thing that they ever saw from me. So they asked about it and I said to them, you know what, you go and figure it out and whoever figures it out first uh, gets a reward. Now, it's quite interesting because every of those three people approached it in quite a different manner. One of them was just coming to me and he was talking to me about it and he wanted to ask my opinion and he tried to extract the information out of me. Second person was a little bit of an introvert so he went off to Google and at the time if you googled squirrel, beaver and goose that book didn't come up today it probably will when you try that at home. So he went nowhere and the third one wasn't really quite bothered and his main thing was okay what does it mean for you and that's actually what I would like to talk to you about today. So in this book the author describes the three traits of a beaver, a squirrel and a goose. And unsurprisingly, those are the things that I noticed after years of management and years of leadership that actually always stood out to me to be engaged with employees, to be engaged with the company. And in essence, the squirrel stands for a purpose. If you look at squirrels, all winter long they go and hide their nuts because they know that once it comes winter they have to survive, they have to eat. So they see purpose in what they do. So if you can instill purpose into every single employee, if you can connect them to what is important to them in their life but also connect them to how they contribute to the company's success, then leadership will become very easy because at that stage you don't have to tell anybody what to do. They see a purpose and they will figure out in the realms of their personal job what is best to do. The second animal was the beaver and if you notice nobody has ever shown a beaver how to build a dam. They are born and instinctively know how to do it. And it taught me a lesson because there are so many people, so many managers who try to micromanage, who want things done their way. And I, even I had some employees who actually preferred that approach and who wanted to get exact guidance of what I wanted them to do. However, I refused because at the end of the day, you hire somebody because of their skills. And because of their skills, they can probably do the job much better than you can. So trust in your employees. Be sure that they are that beaver who actually already knows how to build a dam. And then you just give them comfort. You give them confidence that you trust in them to get the job done. 
And finally, we look at the goose. And if you look at geese flying around, they usually go into a V formation and every one of the geese are actually honking and they are encouraging each other at every point of their journey. And it's something that I see happens very little in business. I actually read an article recently which said we are not celebrating enough. We are not celebrating our successes. And I think that is something that you can take away as well. Even if you have a very small business, even if it's just yourself, maybe it is something very small that you have achieved. Celebrate that business. Be that goose that honks to encourage yourself, to encourage others to actually continue on the path, continue on the journey. So this was a little bit of a different video, very short, concise, a concise message. Last week I just wanted to make sure that you understand every single step of how I plan the week ahead. Now I now wish you a very good New Year's Eve, a very blessed 2020. Of course for those who are watching this later in the year, I hope you have a very successful 2020 and there will be 52 further episodes coming from Crosswinds Pilot here on this channel. So please subscribe to this channel, that would help us out tremendously. Please like the video if you do and please comment to see what other topics you would like to see covered. Have a great new year and I will see you very soon.